So guys, I am nearly back in Chiang Mai. I set off at 5.15 a.m. this morning. And yes, I've been on the road for about three and a half hours. And I've just reached Doi Saket. So 30 minutes outside of Chiang Mai. Yeah, my, my ass is absolutely killing, man. I had to stop. And I'm gonna give Lucille a bit of a break. She's done well, man. Three and a half hours, full pelt. I thought it was going to rain at one point, but the rain has stayed off. Yeah, I had a couple of stops on the way, a couple of toilet breaks, and I got um, I got some breakfast on the way as well. So I stopped twice, three and a half hours. Oh, yeah, it is a bone cruncher, man. Next time do it on a click it's exciting doing it on a small bike but i'm definitely getting a bigger bike next time if i if i go that far again but i'm glad i've done it man i'm glad i've done it that's one thing i really wanted to do right to chang rai and payao and back again so yeah i'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and cruise on into chiang mai on a monday fast forward a few days and i'm back in chiang mai and I thought we would just do this small vlog today talking about the series Payao, Chiang Rai and we're going to talk about Chiang Rai versus Chiang Mai and I just thought this would be a little closure to the series so we're going to start off with I hope you liked the series I think it was about 10, 10 or 12 vlogs all in all with Payao and Chiang Rai it was just a little getaway, a little break for me it wasn't about just going everywhere my regulars know what my series are like, whatever, whatever we get up to, we get up to. So I've had a few questions during the series and before that I thought I could start off with. I've had a few questions saying, for all you that know, you know how much I love Chang Rai. For all you regulars that have been on my channel for, well, since the beginning, I've always said that Chang Rai is my favourite place. And it still is. But the question is, I get why... Why don't I live there if it's my favourite place? Why Why am I in Chiang Mai? So I thought we could just go over that first a minute. And you now I was in Chiang Mai for nearly one year. Um, my plan really wasn't to leave Chiang Mai. It was just I was going home at that time. So I came back to Chiang Mai because that's where my flight out was. And I stayed back in Chiang Mai for a while again. And yeah, that Chiang Mai buzz gets you and... You know, I stayed there for the rest of my time until I went home. And then when I returned again, it was back to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is Chiang Mai's Chiang Mai, right? It's just, it's the famous one. You always come to Chiang Mai and then you head off to Chiang Rai normally. And when I came back, I just settled in, settled in Chiang Mai again. I think when I left Chiang Rai and when I was there, I always, I've said this before, that it, the plan was always to move to Chiang Rai when I was older. I mean, yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting closer to that now because that was seven years ago that I was thinking that. Um, I could live in Chiang Rai easy at any age, but I just think as a still a middle-aged man and, you know, you still want to go out and about and meet your friends and things, Chiang, Chiang Mai is where I will be for now and Chiang Rai in the future. That was my sort of plan. But I'm a bit older now, right? This time I've gone back and things was a little bit different so we're going to talk about that as well nostalgia is always a I don't know it's always something about nostalgia right when you when you go back to somewhere it's probably never quite the same as when you first went there it's like a holiday in it everybody when any, when anybody goes on holiday to a new place they always come back saying oh we're thinking about moving there you know that adrenaline buzz gets you done it and you always come back thinking you want to go and live there or you're going to make plans to go back. I love it there. It's amazing. And that's what you, everybody always thinks when they go on holiday. Then you get back home, get in the swing of work again. And that sort of thought goes off. 
And it's like that wherever you go, isn't it? You could go somewhere the following year and be the same again. Oh, I love Turkey or oh, I love Spain. It's the place for me. It's just that holiday buzz, right? It takes over you for a while. And really, when you think about it, you want to try many places before you sort of make a decision in the future, right? Yeah, I probably had a bit of that. When I went back again this time in the series, it was a little bit different, but Chiang Rai is still, it's still Chiang Rai. It's grown a bit. There's a bit more happening there now. It's a bit more crazy. But um, this time when I had a motorbike, I actually, you know, ventured out a bit and realized how crazy the smaller roads are outside of the city. Yeah, there's some crazy roads with no traffic lights or nothing. So it's a little bit more underdeveloped on the outer roads than Chiang Rai, um, Chiang Mai. Um, but that doesn't, that wouldn't affect me. I just didn't see that last time. So just to let you know, we're in the, we're in the secret park. It's quite busy today, actually. This is busy for secret park. Got a couple of families in here and a few people. So what I normally do is like three, three walks around this circuit. So that's what I'm going to do now a minute. And yeah, could I still live in Chiang Rai now? Without a doubt, it's my favorite city and it was good to go back and I'm going to go back again soon. I'm not going to leave it another seven years, no chance. So what did I find different about Chiang Rai this time? It felt like there was more people and the city in general was bigger. I don't know if that's really true or it's just been seven years away and you know, your mind, your mind plays trick on you. All the main streets were the same around the clock tower and everything, but it just seemed that little bit more, little bit more bigger than what I'm, what I was used to before. But as I said, it's probably not. So Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai is the bustling world famous city. It's got everything you would need. It's got multiple malls and international restaurants. And it's just a city with everything you would ever need in it, really. It's, it's not as big as Bangkok or anything, obviously. It's not it's some things that Chiang Mai hasn't got. But for Northern Thailand sort of terms, Chiang Mai has got everything, you know, in abundance. Chiang Rai is a less developed city. It's, you know, it's more laid back and you've, you've got one more and basically you've got one of everything. You know, you've got a main market that people go to and it's, it's catered for the laid back type of person. Somebody that just wants to take life easy. Probably probably better for you, for the older expat, as I was saying earlier, how, how I would probably live in Chiang Rai like that in the future. When I'm probably more of retirement age and Chiang Rai would be absolutely perfect for that. Chiang Rai is a more compact city and it's easier to navigate your way around even though i always say that chiang chiang mai is not a big city i i swear by that chiang mai is a big it's a big area but the actual city i always think is is relatively small man you know back home in my southwest of england some of the towns feel bigger than than chiang mai for sure the actual city center and the actual town and the main parts so nightlife i'm not really a nightlife type of guy and these are all my opinions by the way somebody that's lived in Chiang Rai longer than me is gonna have different opinions but this is this is what I think I was in Chiang Rai for a small amount of time before and I've gone back and I've been in Chiang Mai a lot longer so this is just my what I feel and what I see with my eyes people are gonna have different opinions the nightlife Chiang Mai is pretty well known for its nightlife it's not on a major scale like Pattaya or Bangkok or nothing but it's got a vibrant a vibrant nightlife with you know Loy Crow Road and live music and Nim and Heyman they've got clubs and we've got Zoe in yellow and Chiang Rai is on a smaller scale but what what I actually think is the vibe in Chiang Rai in Jed Yod Road is I find that vibe better than Chiang Mai for some reason. It's the perfect little place to go and have a beer, I think. You got some ladies around, you got some massages around. Um, yeah, I, I would say they're not too different. Of course, if you bring in the nightclubs, like I said, and you was going to Niman, all the youngster nightclubs. But I think the main sort of little bar streets like Loy Crow and Chiang Mai and Jed, 
yod in Chiang Rai. They're, it's not too similar just to go out for a night out, I don't think. Obviously, Chiang Mai is bigger and you've got the boxing area. There's more bars, there's more girls, but Chiang Rai for the city is a good little area to go out and have a drink, I think. Again, if you want to go out and get sloshed and all night long, partying, all the latest dance music, dance clubs, you, you're not going to find that in Chiang Rai, I doubt it. I know there is a couple of clubs. I don't know if they're still there. They probably are where you can go off and do some late night dancing. But yeah, if you want that, then Chiang Mai is your, is your city, right? Um, even though Chiang Mai is not amazing for that, but out of the two, you would want Chiang Mai if you was a party animal, for sure. Surrounding areas and getting to places, Chiang Mai is pretty set up for that, right? You can get, you can get tour guides and you can go up to the mountains and song towels and things like that. Um, so that, that's pretty easy in Chiang Mai. I would say Chiang Rai is a little bit more difficult. If you had your own transport, there is, you know, there's lots to see in Chiang Rai. It's beautiful, the landscapes and getting out of the city. But it's just going to be that little bit more difficult than Chiang Mai. Um, especially if you haven't got transport and you're there for a short time, you're going to need a tour guide or something. You can find them in Chiang Rai as well. Of course you can, but it's not... It's not as on the plate and easy as Chiang Mai. Language, that's one thing I do remember. Language, not speaking Thai, you're gonna get by easier in Chiang Mai without a doubt. Chiang Mai being a bit more less touristy and a bit more off the way, you know, off the beaten track from all the tourists, even though Chiang Rai has got some of the biggest tourist attractions in the North, I would say, with the White Temple and Blue Temple. Um, if you're wandering around the markets in Chiang Rai and stuff, you will see the difference, I think, with the language. You're probably going to need to learn a bit more in Chiang Rai. And as you know with me, that would probably be the better place for me to learn Chiang Rai. Probably give you a kick up, kick up the jacksie to learn it more. So it could be, it could be better way to learn Thai living in Chiang Rai for sure. But the language... You can get lazy in Chiang Mai with the language. I'm a case for that. Um, you can get by with English in Chiang Rai. I do. I did for one year nearly. But you will find it a little bit more difficult just trying to communicate and get things across to people in the markets and in the restaurants and just the night bazaar and things like that. So you can get away with it in both. But it's a lot easier speaking English in Chiang Mai. And the conclusion is, they're both great. I love them both. You all know I love Chiang Mai as well. When I say I love Chiang Rai, everybody knows how much I love Chiang Mai as well. Look at all, look at the countless videos I've said where this amazing city is great and it's hard to leave Chiang Mai, it really is, because it has everything set up for you. It depends what sort of person you are. If you're like me and you like the quiet life, and you don't want to see too many frangs out and about, then Chiang Rai is the perfect spot, man. It really is. It's got everything you need, but just the right amount of things you need. Like one more. You only need one more. I only need one more. I only need one of everything. So, you know, it's when Chiang Mai's got that, it's got multi things of everything, and that's, that's when things get a bit chock-a-blocking loads of tourists about and you don't need it all do you you don't need it all in life the, the frank the expats that i speak to that live in chiang rai i wish i could have spoke to a couple actually there's a couple youtubers that i follow from chiang rai and really i wish i could have met up with one and asked some questions because i questions for me in the future maybe moving to chiang rai um, so yeah, there's no clear winner. There's no clear winner. I'm going to stick to by, by what I've always thought, even seven years ago. If you're a younger, younger man or woman, Chiang, Chiang Mai is probably for you. If you're getting on a bit and you like the slower pace of life, then Chiang Rai is the next step. Um, you've probably seen, well, you would have seen my video where I went to the Hungry Horse by now. And I had a chat with the owner there and he was saying he lived in Chiang Mai for years and it sort of got on his nerves after a while and he moved to 
Chang Rai and probably I'm feeling like that a little bit now as well. I love this city but the longer you've been here it's sort of like a it's a tourist city. Chiang Mai is a tourist city and after a while you maybe want to move out a bit and have a bit more chilled life. You can do that in Chiang Mai with San Kampang or Sarapi or move out of the city a bit or you could just move to somewhere like Chiang Rai so I've got some thinking to do in the future what I want to do do I want to keep living in Chiang Mai or do I want to go back to Chiang Rai that is something I need to think about in the coming days weeks months years um yeah so I'm gonna leave it there guys I've been waffling on about about it so I just wanted to do every time I finish a series I normally have a little chat then I have a small chat about how it went and what I'm thinking about it um, yeah so I'm gonna stop waffling hope you enjoyed the series God knows where we're gonna be going next but a little clue for you I'm probably done with the north so what can that mean? So the next one could be a little bit further afield. But we will see. Anything can change. Hope you enjoyed the series. Hope you enjoyed me just talking about it. Hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys. And I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy. We've got a few more Chiang Mai vlogs coming up now and back. We're going to be doing around the Chiang Mai while I'm here thinking about the next series. Take it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs>